for book one, proposition number 46 of Euclid's Elements, on a given straight line to describe a square. So with this proposition, we're given some line, in this case the line AB, and on it we need to construct a square. So to do this, let's first use book one, proposition number 11, which allows us to construct a line that's perpendicular to this line AB. So let's construct the line AC that's perpendicular to AB. So we can draw that here and label this C. And then next we'll use book one, proposition number three, which essentially allows us to cut off a portion of this line AC equal to the line AB. And we can label this point up here, point D, so that the line AD is equal to the line AB. And now what we want to do is to use book one, proposition number 31, to construct a line parallel to the line AB through this point D. So let's build that line. And we also want to use the same proposition to construct a line parallel to the line AD through this point B. So let's draw that line as well. And we can label where these meet as point E. So first, we drew DE parallel to the line AB. Then using the same proposition, we drew the line BE parallel to the line AD. And now since this four-sided shape we have is a parallelogram, because opposite sides are parallel to each other, we can use book one, proposition number 34, which says that in a parallelogram, the opposite sides and opposite angles are equal to each other. So we know that AD is equal to EB, so AD equals the line EB. And with the same proposition, we also know that the line AB is equal to the line DE. So let's write that, that AB is equal to DE due to book one, proposition number 34. And since AD and AB are equal, this implies that AB and EB are equal. So AB equals EB because of common notion number one, things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. And with that same logic, since AB and EB are equal, so AB is equal to EB, and AB is also equal to DE, then EB is equal to DE. So in essence, all four of these sides are equal to each other. So to show that this shape here, this four-sided shape is a square, we just need to prove that all of these angles are right angles. But we already know this angle here is a right angle since we constructed the line AC in such a way that makes this angle here right. So we also know though, because of book one, proposition number 29, that if we have two parallel lines, the line DE and AB, and some transversal, this line AD here, then the two interior angles, this angle and this angle here, would have to add up to two right angles. So let's write that, that angle EDA plus angle DAB would equal two right angles. And due to common notion number three, we can subtract off this angle DAB. Since we know DAB is equal to one right angle, so subtracting it off would make the angle EDA equal to a right angle. So now all we have to do is use book one, proposition number 34, which says that in a parallelogram, opposite sides and opposite angles are equal. So going back up to this parallelogram here, we just showed that this angle here is right. So now 
because of this book one proposition number 34, the angles opposite those are equal, which means that they are right angles as well. So in this square, we have four right angles and four equal sides, which is exactly what we were trying to construct. So we can end with QE 